So today we are going over the new paid ad campaigns. Um, I will be focusing mainly on the Facebook ad campaigns because those are the ones I feel like a lot of the agents are starting to utilize. Um, and those, the other ones are like Google search ads and stuff. And those are really, really new and they, we haven't got as many insights back on them just yet. So I'm kind of telling everyone to hold off for now. And then we will, you know, reassess them probably in another few weeks when they kind of get those up and running again. Um, okay. So first things first, um, I always like to go over, um, making sure that we know where the campaigns button is. So we have our campaigns button here. This is again, our new paid ads experience. And you should probably have this banner that's popping up here. And it says the, like the smartest ads in real estate with more ads, more channels. If you click the little learn more button, then it has getting started with paid ads. So um, this is like the before you get started, ensure everything is set up correctly in Facebook, connect your Facebook account, add and manage your credit cards. So this is like your beginning stuff to get started. And that banner should be at the top. If it's not, that's okay. You can find this article on answers.kw.com and you just type in get started with paid ads in command. So this one wonderful little um, article here, uh, answers.kw.com can help you with any troubleshooting you're having, but they include a lot of photos and they have different single images or other articles that pertain to the actual ads you're trying to do. Cool. Let me make sure. This is so advanced and it's so seamless. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click our campaigns uh, button here, which is a little megaphone. Mm -hmm. Then we have our dashboard here. So you can always manage your payments up here in the right hand corner. You go ahead and just oh, add good. that in. Um, you can do pay to add account settings. So this is basically saying that like these are all of campaigns that you can have, um, but you can manage your payments here. You can also do billing history. This shows up any billing history that you have had for your ads as well. And this is where you can add in a credit card. So you can add new cards in through your account settings. Let me go back really fast. Okay. Um, there's a quick start button here as well. If you scroll down, this is um, different paid ads, like quick videos too. And that's all on your campaigns tab. So you can easily find any of those right there. Um, and then these are any from the past that you have ever done. So if you've ever done any ads before they switch to the new paid ads experience, they show up right down here. Okay. Um, and just a little tidbit. So if you do start running an ad, this is again, like your homepage for campaigns. If you do run an ad, then you just have to go down here and, and select like listing ads, attracting buyer seller ads. That's where your current ones are that are running. That's where they will live is right underneath here. This is also where you can manage them and you can edit them, anything that you need to change or just to see um, your leads or like how much, how many people it's reaching, the cost per clicks and stuff like that. It's all right there. Okay. Um, again, you can go to your account settings. So I'm going to the authenticating. Now I'm in the paid ads experience. This is showing my billing details. Again, I need to add a card. I don't have one in there, but you just basically add any card that you want. And then down here is uh, notification preferences. So you can, you can change out, like manage your email auto responses. So you can auto respond via emails. So whenever leads and stuff come in, you can also have these sent out automatically to them for them to receive those. So you can turn those on and off as you see fit. I, oh, actually you can do just one, huh? Yes, you can. You can do just one or you can do none. One or the other. What do you think the best, is, like, I know a lot of people text these days. You think it. So you do have to have um, Twilio connected in order for texting. Okay. Yeah. So you do have to have that. But if you have um, emails and stuff, that's automatically just going to come from your command email that you, you get 5,000 per month. Right. So okay. Thank good you. question. Okay. The other thing I like to talk about here is the Facebook pages. 
So I have my Facebook page linked already. And um, if I like view page details, if you don't have one linked already, then it you just click Facebook page and then you go through the prompts to make sure that they're linked. Um, we say green means go. That does look green on that screen. On my screen, it looks blue. But green means go. So as long as you have four check marks and all of it is green, then you are connected. If you have issues with that, again, I have a 10 minute video that I can send to you, or I'm also going to post it on our internal page. So you can grab it at any time that you need as well. Next one I'm gonna go ahead and go to is our um, dashboard. So this is our quick start dashboard. These are all of the paid ads that you have access to. There are now 12. There are 13 if you are on a team, but if you are an individual agent, then you have 12 just because they have one that's specific for teams. So don't think that you're missing out, it's just pertains to them only. Um, but like I said, the ones I'm gonna talk about mainly are these top ones up here. Um, these kind of are the same thing. So it's like attracting sellers or buyers. So that's just like single images or videos, um, non-listing. So you can do like little ads and you can put in videos or photos. So it's kind of like promoting your business, perhaps like promoting yourself as an agent. And you can do those things as well. I'm going to go ahead and start over here with just listings. I know that we have, um, this is what we have shown in the past six, eight months. Um, is utilizing Facebook ads for, for, for promoting listings. But now you do also have the attracting sellers and buyers. First one here is your single image or video. Um, then we have a multi-image carousel. So if you want up to five photos to be shown per, per your listing on your ad, then you can choose the multi-image. We have the multi-listing. So that's if you have more than one listing you're wanting to promote. Um, again, there's non-listing, so just a single image or a video. Um, and these ones up here, as you can see, they have a little banner that says include Facebook lead form. So that is actually the Facebook lead form that's going to grab their information as they're coming, as they click on your ad, then it's grabbing the information and sending it to you through command, okay? Really? It will put it in our, our contact? Yep. Goes right into them. It's, um, so within each ad, you can also auto add a tag. So you can put like Facebook ad and it'll have the tag already affiliated with it. And each of your ads that you can do, you can also add more than one tag. So it'll automatically tag those contacts that come in. Too cool. Yes, it is. These ones are Facebook. These are landing page lead forms. So these are actually lead forms that you have to create yourself. So they're actually like landing pages that they're going to. So that's also why I recommend when you first get started is utilizing these Facebook lead forms. Makes it easy. Puts them automatically all in there. All the information that they give you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in over here to our listing. So I'm gonna go ahead and there's only two steps now really, so that's really cool. First is making sure that our Facebook page is linked. My Facebook page is linked because it's showing that it's on there. Remember, this does have to be a Facebook business page. It cannot be, which your Facebook business page does have to live under a personal page, but it has to be a Facebook business page, okay? So they're easy to link together they can be as long if there's some back end stuff that was set up correctly and majority of the time i haven't had an issue with it you got yours i think we oh, had yeah. a couple no yours was seamless wasn't it It was very easy yeah. yeah but we can also take a look at that as well okay and you can find that here on that facebook pages tab right here okay so if you click that and as long as you're logged in already it should automatically grab everything oh. yeah Okay, listing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a listing. Does anyone have a listing that I can use? I'm gonna pull one of the Cronkite ones. Okay. To do. Do you have a do you have that address? I do. Awesome. Yeah. So um, does it have to be our listing or can it be like uh somebody else's listing? It can be somebody else's listings as long as you have permission to right. do an ad. And I clarified uh I was at the board, the one-on-one on MLS, uh, a text message back and forth is sufficient or is there a form? No, okay. um, all of our KW agents typically do not have an issue with you, you, you utilizing their listings, um, but I would always double check with the agent. Okay, but get an email or a text. Anything. Okay. Yeah. They said something in writing that was sufficient. So. Yep, okay, just great. like a contract. But how do we pull the listing? We have to, we, uh, it'll automatically pull it. 
if we put the address in. Okay, great. Okay. So one thing you do have to make sure is the column to filter. So you do have to select one of these options before you put this in here or else it won't pull it. So I always say the address, but sometimes some agents have issue or have better luck with like the listing agent or city or something like that. Um, 265. Yep. 265. East Melton Road. East Melton. Let's see if it'll pull it that way. What city is it in? Ozark. Okay. It's probably, sometimes it's spelled out, sometimes it's not. So give it a try. And I spelled Melton right, right? <clears throat> cool. There it is. And it is active. I will say sometimes it does pull like closed ones. So I don't know. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So just be aware you always select the active one. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And there is our wonderful listing that's hanging out there. Next is our targeting. So we have a listing location. So our listing location is Ozark. So that means that this will be a targeted radius that is 15 miles up to 50 miles outside. I can't keep up because it's okay. wanting me to link my Facebook page. Okay. Um, but it's pulling up my personal. I'm it logged will. into my, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm doing no, this right. Nope. You're good. You're good, Shannon. No worries. So just a quick question. Yeah. If I'm trying to do one of the Cronkite homes, it says that I don't have any listings yet. So how do I use one of theirs? Like that's not mine. Right. So I was able to pull that and then I would just always put in the remarks listing courtesy of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it just, pulling it for you or no? No. It just says you don't seem to have any listings yet. So it won't, it won't even show it. On, are you trying to do an add on it? Yeah. I was able to pull it, which is interesting because I don't have it. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Let's go back through here. So you have to make sure that you select address. I did. Okay. Before. <laughs> let me do anything. Oh no, it won't let me do it. I had it, Give it just a second I, and, let it... and then I closed it out to see if I could redo it. I... Um, I had to also type out the full East. You did. I see that. Okay. So maybe. So that's what, that's the other problem. So sometimes if it's not pulling, I recommend like spelling out East, spelling out road, because it, it shows it how it is there. Did that work, Shannon? I'm not sure. I, it said, you it wouldn't said be able to get that far. No, I, I added it here and then I went back and it's still... You're okay. <laughs> that should work. <laughs> you will have to, there's like a, okay. yep. There so if you go to the net, yeah, you're good. Green means okay. go. Did that work out? Yep. I found okay. it. Perfect. I spell out rows. So, yes, go ahead and spell them out. It doesn't like the like abbreviations. It's also just however it's pulling from the, from the listing service. It pulled it without the number. Yes. So if you put the, the road and stuff in there, perfectly fine. You just need something to pull it. Okay. Um, let's go back to targeting. I'm going to start over at the beginning of that. So this again is Ozark, right? So this the house is in Ozark. So it's going to do 15 miles up to 50 miles outside of Ozark is where this will actually reach. So our target. You can also do a custom location as well. If you do a custom location, you can choose up to 10 locations. So what's the price of this house? It is 278.5. Perfect. Um, so you can always um, do just Ozark, or you can even go up to like, you can add in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, you can do 63005. That's Wildwood. You can do um, Fayetteville, Arkansas. That's just a city. You can do an entire state of Missouri. And it will pull based on your custom location, it'll pull those radiuses. So it'll go 15 miles outside of Wildwood. It'll go 15 miles outside of St. Louis. And you can drag this all the way up to like however many miles, again, up to 50. And you can have up to 10 locations. So sometimes if you have like those higher, maybe those like flip homes 
or you have maybe a higher price point, then you can target different areas. I know that a lot of agents have started targeting like maybe California or Colorado or Texas. And you can target some of the areas in there. I do recommend, I don't recommend typically doing a full state. I recommend trying to find some cities and utilizing the cities a little bit more because then um, it just makes it a little bit more targeted. Well, Obviously, yeah, if, you if you choose, wanted to do Texas, Austin's hot. You might just yeah, exactly. Just do Dallas, just Fort do, Worth, and Austin. Yep. Yeah. Because you also have to think that your spend is also, if you're doing a full state, then your spend's not going to go quite as far. And we'll talk about spend on the next okay. page. Media types. So these are just images. Remember, I did a single image carousel. So it's just one image. You can choose whatever image you want. It will pull up to 20 images from the listing. I will say that these are kind of small. Right. Typically, though, your first image is going to be the front of the home because this is pulling directly from the MLS. You can also upload a custom image, so you can select it from your media library. So if you have access to some of the images, if it's your listing, or if you've asked um, the listing agent to send over like a photo, a good photo of the front of the house, the kitchen, you know, just some features that kind of separate that home, then you can also select them from your actual media library. Can you uh, get that mostly set up and then go to your phone and uh, app and download a photo from your phone storage? Uh, you can email it to yourself and then you can download it to your computer. Okay. You cannot make any edits on ads on your phone. Okay, got it. Yep. It's all desktop for now. Okay. You can also put in a video. However, I will say that the video does need to be an MP4 video. You can convert a lot of videos. Um, I was actually with someone a couple weeks ago. They did convert, um, or maybe it was last week. Uh, they did convert a video to an MP4 really fast. You can just find like free ones. They all, you can also do it through your Google Drive, I believe. Um, and they do have to be a maximum size of 90 megabytes. So when you convert it to an MP4, it typically will reduce the size. It looked perfectly fine. They did a great job with it. So it wasn't, it wasn't an issue. Um, but you can also select a video as well. So if you have a video of the home, you can put that in too. Any questions on media type, targeting, yeah. listening? Yeah, go ahead. So the address, mm -hmm. I wasn't doing the Cronkite one. I was trying to do something different, yeah. but it doesn't pull up anything. Did, Did I... you spell out like East? Yeah. Oh, and road. And oh. road. <laughs> okay. It likes full spellings. No easy shortcuts. Okay. <laughs> Try that. Yeah. I don't know how to do tags. I don't know how to tag anybody. There's lead settings here, tags, and smart plans. So I'm going to go over that here okay. in just a little bit. Because right now we're at media. Okay. So it says on the column to filter. If yes, I put an you need to in, put address. Just select address. Select. And then you'll go ahead and put the full address in. And it should. Even with Nick, Nixa. No, don't put Nixa. Just the street. Just the street. Mm -hmm. Just the actual street address. So no numbers, no north. You put, put like the street number. So like I did 265 East Milton Road. Like this is what I had put in and that was able to pull it. And I spelled out East and I spelled out road. Wouldn't it pull up at the very top though? If you typed it in or you're going to have to search for it. It should pull it up at the very top. That's why if you do put like the number and everything in, then it will, yeah, it I'll should. It. Okay. Is it an active listing? Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see. Sometimes, you know, they also miss the avenues, the roads. There it is. There it is. Perfect. So, so just kind of like, me, yeah, gotcha. it's kind of like some trial and error. Okay. You know, it's all pulling from a big site. So if if I would, re I recommend trying like just the street and like the number and stuff. So but yeah, it's just trial and error. Um, as far as targeting, because I got behind. A that's okay. Bit. So okay. when you want to add, you can add Ozark to it. So Ozark add. will already be. Is it is it in Ozark? It's in Nixa. Okay, perfect. So you can do. Um, I would do Nixa and Ozark if you're right. going to do a certain target audience, like a custom location. I would do both. Okay. 
Um, or, I mean, they're pretty close together. I know they're within 50 miles. So you could also right. just do Nixa, like have the listing location, which again is Nixa. Right. It would reach if you did over 50 miles. Sure. Okay. So, but okay. if you wanted to target, um, you know, like Rala or somewhere in Arkansas, then I would, then you can do a custom location too. But with the custom locations, I would also include where mm -hmm. it's actually at. Okay. Because... Yeah. Or next to it if it's within the 50 miles. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. And you say to always do a video? No, you don't have to always do a video. You can do an image. But if you have like a, if you, if they did like a drone video of like the home, then you can always utilize that. But it does have to be an MP4 and it does have to be a maximum size of 90 okay. megabytes. Okay. But you can always just do an image. I think I'm caught up now. Cool. <laughs> Love it. No worries at all. Um, okay, I'm going to put the one image because I want to make sure it shows. Now, over here on your right-hand side, it shows you your ad preview. So if you click this little button here, it'll show you what your ad will actually look like. And I haven't done anything with the, with the wording yet, but that's our next step. So this just shows what the home looks like. Awesome. Love it. And you can click through that at any time. Next is going to be our text. So this is a beautiful home in, I think it said Ozark, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> home in Ozark just listed at. Um, you can take those out. Those are what we call like little um, content buttons. So you can also add those in at any time, or you can also take them out. You can also add emojis. So emojis increase um, engagement. I was like, what's the word? Emojis increase engagement. When they see an emoji, they usually are like, oh, this is cool. Like they took time to actually add in some emojis. So you can add different ones in. They have tons of options and they won't look exactly like this because we all know that like they show up different in, on different phones. Um, you can also utilize a, this little magic wand. This little magic wand is an AI generator. So you can write with AI. Here's what this one says here. I want to go ahead and do, this looks like a really cute, let's do like a vibrant. Exciting new home in town, perfect for entertaining, just listed, come take a look and make it yours today. Now, remember you do have a character element, so you have 255 characters. Sometimes AI does not notice that, so they don't see. Um, I'm going to actually change this and I'm going to put city. Um, sometimes they don't notice that. So they won't actually see like, oh, it's over the character limit, but it will show you that. You can also suggest different options with AI. So you can click this, it'll re like scramble it around and give you a new one. And then you can also continue to changing your styles. I'm going to apply that one because I think that looks, that sounds good. The headline. So right now it's just the address, but I want to go ahead and do, let's do a practical one. And we'll go ahead and click apply. Tranquil, secure home, offers comfort and peace of mind. Love that. And then again, we can go to our ad preview. And now it's showing those options that I just put in. So in real time, it shows you what that actually looks like. Really cool. I do actually kind of like the address. I'm going to put address back in. Let's do that. And then it's going to scramble it around and show that to you again. So, pretty cool. So if this wasn't, go ahead. If this wasn't our listing though, is that where we would put? I would probably put listing courtesy of in the body text. So listing courtesy of Cronkite Homes. Right, that's who it was. What do you do to change it to type into it? Oh, I just clicked on it. Click on it. Okay. Yeah. So you just have to make sure you get out of the ad preview. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then it shows it right there. Good question. Good question. Thank you for asking. But yeah, you can do, you can also type out your own everything. I just know I'm not very creative and I don't want to come up with all, a ton of headlines or body text for any of that. So I usually just let the magic ones do what they want. Um, okay. Post lead to sub submission destination is required. You can choose a landing page. I always recommend utilizing a URL. And the URL I recommend utilizing is your KW website. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my KW website. There it is. There's me. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and go to this for sale box here. And I'm going to search for that address again. What was it? 265? Yes. 265 East Mountain. Mm -hmm. Those are, there it is. And then uh, that's going to populate it and it's going to pull it. Oh, I can't, no, go away. Uh, it was yelling at me because I can't see any more properties now because... <laughs> <sighs> because I did that to myself. Oh, please. This is a whole nother class. It's just, I have to, I have to give myself unlimited access. <laughs> Save changes. Okay. 265 East Mountain Road. Those are saved. Great. Search. I don't want to put myself in again, but that is something that, that's another option. Okay. So you can also restrict it. So they have to give you their information. Really great. Shows it all the time. I'm already in there though. So this is what will actually show up because it's pulling from the MLS and it looks really nice. So this is obviously a new build. So really, really pretty cool. Awesome. If you scroll down, it says the price, it says property descriptions, again, just pulling from the MLS. Shows your property details, shows asking your agent, requesting a tour, saving it. This, I am my own agent. Um, here is financial details. Here is like where it's located. It also, if you keep going like commute times, nearby schools, like it's really sleek looking and looks really, really nice. You can also estimate your monthly payments. So you can put in like how much the purchase price is, how much you're putting down, all of that. Really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste the URL. So I'm just grabbing it from up here. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put it in there. You can also preview the URL to make sure that works. Probably good. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see, that's the URL. If I click on it, it's gonna bring me right to my website, which is awesome because if you drive, if you drive more traffic to your website, it will also show when people are active on your website. And if you have restrictions like I do, they have to put in their information in order to see it. Well, like I did, then I removed them. Okay. Questions on any of that? Pretty simple. Our lead submission destination is going to be your website so that you drive more traffic towards it. New websites are coming next month, by the way. Probably, end of, end of the month. Um, lead settings, so this is where you can also add different tags. So you can choose Facebook ad, you can choose um, buyer, you can choose new construction, like, Maybe those people you want to tag them those things, tag them those things. I always recommend tagging them Facebook <laughs> ad because what you can do is you can um, again filter through your tags and then you can target those people based on the tags that are already added to your contacts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Facebook ad. Smart plans. This is if you have smart plans that are already in that you already have created or maybe added to your library and edited. Um, for Facebook ads in general. So remember, smart plans is a lot of automation. It'll automatically send emails out for you if you have that included in the smart plan. It'll send text messages out for you if you have that included with a smart plan and also have Twilio set up. If you don't have Twilio set up, it comes through as a text task, okay? So it'll be a task that shows up that says text this person because of you know this smart plan. And then you can put your descriptions and stuff in there or what that text should say. Um, smart plans is again another class. However, you do have the option whenever a lead comes in, it'll automatically add that tag and it'll automatically trigger or you automatically add to a smart plan for you once that oh, really in. so if you are, that's what I was worried about because I'm in context. So yeah. uh, you've sent out a campaign and you add 50 more people. It will automatically take that first uh, text or email if you add a smart plan then yes but it's an option you don't have to do but it but it's on it would be ongoing then no you can have smart plans end okay yeah so you can put like three different pieces of a smart plan in there or like three different tasks um but yeah and then it will it'll just end okay. it's just an automated feature because if you're running like four or five different ads per if you have like four or five different listings or you have an open house coming up or you're doing two open houses this weekend and you want to run ads on them then it will automatically add them to smart plans if you tell this to it will okay. not do it if you don't add it will automatically add them the okay. only thing i always recommend always put a tag 
because you want to know where you got that lead from. And the lead came from your Facebook ad. Um, but yeah, it's just another good feature. Before you would have to, they didn't have the smart plans as an option and you could do a tag that has a trigger to a smart plan, but now you can choose a smart plan right from here. I have a lot of smart plans, so it shows a lot, shows them all in there. Cool. Okay, compliance. Um, I always recommend the default DBA logo override and everything. So I always recommend the default one. You can also put in a custom one if you wanted to. You can select it from your library. I don't know if I have, yeah, I don't have it in here. But once you add to your media library, which over here, this is where your media library is, you can add in like logos, you can add in anything that you always wanna make sure that you have on there. Um, I recommend it just because it's an easier way for you to grab the KW logo or the KW Greater Springfield logo for compliance purposes, because that is something you do need to have on all of your social media marketing is you need to always make sure you have a Keller Williams or a Keller Williams Greater Springfield logo attached. The other thing is always include the ownership statement. Each office is independently owned and operated. Now, the reason why this is just like include or don't include, sometimes people have our compliance tags already added to some of the photos or already added somewhere on something. Um, or they already have that each office is independently owned and operated, maybe in the headline or text. So that would be the only time you wouldn't add it. But I always say, make sure you include it because that is, again, just a compliance piece. So mine doesn't, mine says select from the media library. I don't have a default or a custom except select from the media library. Just the custom. Is that the only one you have? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's pretty much just, you just need to add it at like, just Those up, you can upload that you did. You yeah. Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Just upload them. Okay. They'll stay in your media library forever. Okay. So it makes it nice. Um, I don't think that Scholar has gotten to that yet with onboarding, with adding those in. I know it's in your designs, okay. but not quite paid ads. And it's just the compliant marketing yeah. tag. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Works perfectly. Okay. Questions on any of this before I move on to the last page? Or last step? Because there's only two steps, remember? This is just completing how it's going to look. Why don't we take a look and see what it looks like? Cool, looks like this. Love it. So cute. How did you, what did you push to see it? Just add preview on the left, on the right-hand side. Yep. Yeah. It'll show you in real time anything that you change. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to last step. Now we have our duration. So you can choose um, start date and end date. So uh, they automatically just do like five days. Um, once you publish it, it can take up to 24 hours to launch. However, they've been launching within 30 minutes recently. Uh -huh. So it's been a lot faster. They just had to put that there because it has to go through all the Facebook stuff and like make sure that it's gonna get, you know, promoted or get uh, published and everything. Start date though is today. Before, it used to be the next day. So now, its start date is today, um, so it should publish on that day. You can choose um, different start dates. So you can choose anything in the future if you wanted to. You can also select your end dates. You can change those out as well. Then we go down to our budget. So it's basically saying you're not meeting the minimum. So since I'm doing so many days, this is my daily spend. Because I don't even know how many days that was, like two weeks. Okay. Um, so basically, if I'm doing my budget's gonna be sixty dollars, then my daily spend is four dollars. You can also do less days, so you can do one day. Cool, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and and decrease this fifteen to two. Won't well, let me do that. Okay, fifteen dollars, seven fifty a day, and you can also type in here as well. But it kind of shows you your daily spends, makes it nice. And I only did one day, so, so it looks a little crazy. Let's do like to that again. Okay, $25 for 17 a day. So really nice. I don't have my billing information in here. If you did, it would automatically pull it. So no big deal. You can also add that in, it'll save it. Promotional codes are if you had ads. So what's something else that's really cool with this new paid ad experience is if you do go in and you cancel an ad, um, you can actually get a whole reimbursement or like a refund instead of a credit. So before it used to be credits and then they, since they changed it, if you had previous credits then you can use a promotional code. So this is not like a, woo, I get a free ad. 
It's more like I'm just using my credits from before, okay? Then you basically just click purchase now. I don't have a credit card on file, so I'm not going to purchase it. But um, I'm sure that Drew and the whole Cronkite team would actually really like me to, but I think Andrew is already doing it for them. So no worries there. Um, yeah, so you click purchase now. And then, like I said, if you go down to your dashboard, nope, not my dashboard. Hold on. Do, do, do. Where's that? Oh, it was on my campaigns homepage. So if I click campaigns and I click listing ads, this is where that would sit. Okay, this is where you could check how that ad is doing, that it's running, that it's published, and it'll tell you that it's published and running. I don't have any, but, oh, I guess if you do, oh, there we go. It is in here too, I knew that. Um, if you just go ahead and double and click on and, uh, the little drop downs, then it will pull up those options there. So this was a listing one, so it was a program and that's where it'll sit. You might ask, Ben okay. asked this or answered this. Yeah. So if we do a paid ad, does it just limit to our Facebook page? Does it go out to multiple things? It goes to your business page. It goes out. It. On, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it can be seen by whoever's in those areas. Okay. Yeah. So it'll just, it's like linked to your Facebook page. So that's why it says like on mine, it said like Nicole Deem, you know, Face, or Keller Williams, I think is what it said. And that was my business page. So it's just stating, stating that this person's running that okay. and that's how it's going out. But it's not like they, I mean, they can always click on that and go to your page and like follow you that way. But um, if they click on the actual ad, then it's going to go to your website. Okay. Yep. But if they also click on it, then it, it does have like a Facebook lead form that also grabs their information. Okay. So it's like both. And uh, with command, you, if there's, two, if they like, so say they do a Facebook lead ad and then they put all their information in like their phone number, their email, everything. And then they go to your um, website page. It won't duplicate them because it, if it's the same phone number, it won't duplicate them. Yeah. I wish I had a paid ad right now. I don't think Mike's done any with the new one yet, but then I can show you what it looks like on the back end. But this is kind of cool because this will show any contacts that you have received from your Facebook leads. Does it capture phone number and email or just phone number? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. It should capture all of it, but I think that there's an option for them to like not put an yeah, email, a I, phone I number. Would, I think an yeah. email definitely, but a phone number, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's one or the other. Or something to message on uh -huh. Facebook. Yes, you, you collect sure. some sort of contact yeah. info because or else a name's not really going to help you. Sometimes the leads though are not, they're not, they're not good leads because last week everyone got the same lead from one person. Did you get that lead too, yes. Andrea? Oh, you got it too, Shannon? Yeah. See? Actually, I got two. Was it Zen? Well, I, that was one of them. And then something was 23-23. And it was asking the same question. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. So just go through, check your leads whenever you come in, whenever they come in, you know, always call somebody or send them an email if you feel un, kind of unsafe about it or, or a little iffy about it. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to show one more quick one really fast. I'm going to do a multi-image carousel and just show some of that. Um, the other ones are pretty self explained They're, they're a lot shorter because like this one, you only put in a single image and there's not, you're not selecting a listing or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do another, well, I guess I can do a non-listing one. This one again is just gonna be targeting. My Facebook page is already linked, targeting. You can also do up to 10 locations again. Same thing throughout, okay? So all of these are the same. They just kind of maybe remove an aspect because we're not promoting a listing, we're doing a, a non-listing ad. You can do again an image or a video, same specifications. Same with text. The only thing is that you don't have the magic wand. <laughs> so you have to think oh about yourself. <laughs> so no magic copy wand. Copy paste. Yeah, copy paste. G chat Over GPT. Chat, yeah. chat GPT. Who's that? Um, entering a URL again, you wanna you wanna go to your website. Okay. So the main goal is just making sure you're driving tra traffic to your website. Like I said, really cool new websites are coming very soon. Um, I've been on trainings and stuff for it this week. So because of that, they're gonna start releasing them to you guys, I think next week, but they do like a regional uh, rollout because they can't release it to 
200,000 people <laughs> at one time. So. Yeah. They do like um, region rollouts. So you will we'll be seeing them soon. I'll probably teach a class at the end of next month. Can you just help me with that part real quick? What's up? Um, do I need to put like the listing on my website no. in order for this? Okay. No. Because I just. You don't. It's you have an empty. option to add listings to your website, but no, you do not have okay. to. Mm -mm. Good question. Um, lead submission again, like I said, your website. Tags, smart plans, exact same. Compliance, the exact same. Proceedings of the last, oh gosh. Okay, maybe that'll let me, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Proceeding to the last step, same thing again, durations, budget, billing, all of that's the same. Okay. Duration, budget, and billing are always going to be on your step two. So step one is all the, you know, fun stuff. Step two, maybe not the more fun stuff, but still really good. And that's how all of these are. Okay. The listing with the multi uh, image, you're going to just have more, more images. Okay, so you're gonna have up to five. Um, you can upload the custom again. It'll okay. automatically grab your images again from your listing. Uh, just, it's gonna grab the top, the first five from the MLS, okay? So that is the only thing with it. So, you know, if you know, and again, those photos are very tiny. And so that I've would be already sent in, I sent in an answer to like, get it back, like get, make them bigger. I'm sorry. That would be five separate. No, this is a multi-image for one listing. Okay, got it. So it'll be the same listing, but just different images from that listing. So it, it doesn't show on there, but on mine, I can have that ad preview up while I'm doing stuff and oh. it will change the picture right there. Yes, it does. So you can see it. It does. Yeah, it's bigger than the thumbnail. It is bigger <laughs> than these little thumbnails. I Trust me, I've already put an idea for it. Okay. Make it bigger. <laughs> But yeah, um, like I said, those are like the big ones I like to go over because again, getting started with ad campaigns, utilizing your Facebook pages, utilizing your websites to get you started is awesome. Um, there is also the Google, this is like a monthly mm -hmm. subscription, um, a monthly re reoccurring subscription with these Google. So it's basically Google Analytics and things like that. Um, it's a minimum of 250. That's a reoccurring monthly subscription. So there have been some of, since this got rolled out literally like three weeks ago. So since then there have been some insights on it, but I think they're still kind of working out some tweak, tweaks with those. That's why I don't show it quite as much, but like I said, these ones are awesome. It's all through your Facebook, your Instagrams, everything. So, so mine didn't have to add the preview on this side. Oh, it didn't? Uh -uh. So that's why I would, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, but you have it like right there. The phone thing. So this is your ad preview. It oh. just looks different. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why mine looks like that. I don't know if I got special access to the tab. You're special. Yeah. Special. I don't know. I like okay. this better because it shows it right it's next right to it. When you change and it's very it. possible that that's too. a okay. setting. There's probably a setting. Okay. Did I do anything with my setting? No, because mine used to show up like that. And I don't know that I did either. So no. there you go. No, no worries at all. Okay, any other questions? Like the third row down, mm -hmm. there was a little, that little arrow, that blue, gold, and what is that? What I actually do that? not know. I've I never seen that. I see it. It looks like the Google Drive it one. Like oh, okay. It looks like the Google Drive, but I it does look really different. Oh, I just got completely out of it. Um. It looks like the Google Drive, but I am not 100% sure. This just got released like in the last month? Yeah, three weeks ago. We've had, we had campaigns before. This is the new ads experience. Wow. So they totally changed it from, we started doing these back in December, uh, November, December time. Mike did a whole special and we did like $30 ads and for up to like 200 um, for some of the the agents that wanted us to run them for them for a week. So it was good. That was how we started getting people to utilize it. And then they totally changed it in the last few months. So wow. pretty cool. They're always adapting and changing. That's why we're getting new websites. 
Do you have a question, Rachel? I do. Um, and I'm still very new. No, nope, you're okay. Uh, and we're we're meeting next week. So okay. But the Keller Williams logo had just has to be on there for all of the posts. Mm -hmm. Um for a listing, is this what's creating that Keller Williams? Did I miss that part? Or do no. I have to like get marketing, like a marketing sheet? Like if I'm attracting buyers yeah, and I don't really have a house to like mm -hmm. use as the picture, um, I could use some kind of yeah. marketing. Okay. Yeah. And you can also put a picture of your, like your, like a headshot of you. And then you have the compliance tag in the corner of it, or it'll just, or it'll automatically add that logo in there. Um, if you've got it in your library and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, yeah, good question. You can use whatever you'd like. I mean, obviously if you're doing a listing and you want a listing to be yeah. shown, but yeah, yeah, perfectly fine. Okay. Awesome. Well, if there's no other questions, um, there is also, I will show this. So um, let me go back to campaigns really fast. So this is gonna take us back to command because we're out of the new page ad experience. So in this connect button, this is more training for you guys. I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, this is more training for you guys. So if you put in like paid ads, you can go to learning, um, I think, hold on. Campaigns, let's try this. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different videos and stuff that you can also find in this connect tab that's on your homepage. Um, there's also other events. So build a 100K pipeline in 90 days. This is actually where it is. Let me do paid ad. Uh, da -da -da -da. Unleash the power of paid ads in three simple steps. You can actually sign up for these live Zoom trainings from the KWRI tech training team, which is who trains me on all of this new stuff. You can actually sign up for all of them yourself and you can actually take this class. So this is an hour and a half class, it's free. You click on it. So this is for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So if you wanna learn a little bit more and see a little bit more than maybe I dove into because they know what they're doing a little bit more than me. And I always like to start with basics more um, for all of you. Then you can just register for the event and then you click sign up. There's 23 spots left. It's with Janelle. Janelle's awesome. Love her to death. But you basically just put in your information. You can add it to your calendar. Click right there. Go ahead and get, get started with it at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Live training. You can ask questions in the chat. Like there's the chat's going off like the whole time. And they have a mediator there that's kind of also helping like answer questions and you know, send you articles. It's awesome. So this is my leverage. So I teach classes, but then you have all the classes in the world that you can also take. So where is the recordings of like this class? YouTube. Huh? We YouTube? have a YouTube page. Okay. Yeah. Keller Williams Greater Springfield YouTube page. Yeah. There's tons of these options, guys. They're teaching like a few times a month in the next month. So, and you can find that with anything. So if you type in like command, go to events, grow your market. Oh, nope. That's for, nope. Command MC is not for you guys. Um, fast wins for teams, pretty good stuff. Small steps, big results, command your success in 30 minutes. These are cool. Those are new. There's technology updates that you guys can also join every single month. I'm on those every month. That's kind of how I know what's coming out or what's new. And they do a lot of like overview stuff. So again, KWRI, KWRI tech training team. They are awesome. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, but thank you guys for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.